on screen and stage. Absolutely. In a moment, we'll be speaking to the one and only actress, Stephanie Cole, about her latest role. But first, let's remind ourselves of some of her classic TV characters. Stephanie Cole first appeared on our screens in the 1980s series Tenko, playing a woman held captive in a Japanese prisoner of war camp. Not to be typecast, she went on to join one of the UK's most iconic comedies, Open All Hours, as the ill-tempered Mrs Delphine Featherstone, nicknamed the Black Widow by Ronnie Barker's Arkwright. Three decades later, she reprised the role for a one-off Christmas special. In the 90s, Stephanie was best known as bad-tempered Diana Trent in Waiting for God, and more recently alongside Martin Clunes in Doc Martin, and on the cobbles of Coronation Street as Roy Cropper's mother. I was just oh, saying, wow. Stephanie joins us now. She does that look so well. <laughs> you that, do. You know, that looking down on someone, it's, it's, it's a come naturally. <laughs> no, no, I never use it in everyday life. <laughs> oh, oh. So back treading the boards and a play yes. about the NHS, so obviously right. not lacking in drama. No, it's actually also very funny. It's set around a family. It's called This May Hurt a Bit, which mm -hmm. I think is a great title. Yeah, it is. It's set in and around a family who have reason to use the NHS. So during this, and there are a lot of laughs, and it's, it's also very moving, you actually learn about how near here we are to losing our NHS and 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 when I was a child I remember when it came in I mean of course I don't remember the details but I remember my parents relief when they realized that they could go or call a doctor and know that they didn't have to count the pennies before they did it and we really are within a hair's breadth and it's it's something about which I'm passionate yeah and, and on tour how do you feel about that Yes, touring isn't my favourite, um, <laughs> but, but, but I do actually love going to all the different cities, yeah. which I've been to many times before, but I love it. I know all the art galleries in the country. Really, and we've got great theatres as well, haven't we? And yeah. we have the most wonderful theatres everywhere, which is great, and, and, and thank God they're still there, just. So this starts in, in London, doesn't it, St James's uh, Theatre? No, we go, come to St James's in uh, May, oh, in May so and we run for six weeks, okay. um, which, is, which is great. It's a lovely theatre. And we're looking forward to that. Oh, it sounds brilliant. It really does. And it's obviously something you're very passionate about. I like the title, though, This May yeah. Hurt. Yes. It's a good title. Because it covers so many, you know, This May Hurt. How awful would it hurt? Should we, oh, how, should it happen? I mean, the know? lovely gentleman you've just had on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hope people realise that right. without the NHS, that man would not be alive. No. Indeed. You know, let's get it. Please, let's get it. Now, you have got the best job in the world. Weren't you cuddling Benedict Cumberbatch at the weekend? So I've known Ben since he was very little because I've, I've worked with his parents, Wanda mm -hmm. and Tim. Oh. And, yes, and we did our final one of cabin pressure. Oh, we were very I sad. I love that. But it's good it's fun. Great. He's done really well, hasn't he? Oh, he's one... But he's a wonderful actor. He's also the most enchanting man. Which oh, is which is very nice. Seen you there, Tim. Oh, oh. look, there's a the cast. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, what was it like stuff. for you as well, going back to uh, Open All Hours? It was great, actually. I was slightly kind of iffy, do you know, but then I read the script and Roy Clark again, who Brilliant. creates this amazing world, and, and working with, with, with David, who I've worked with sort of quite a bit over the years, yeah. was a joy, and Linda Barron and everybody, we oh, were all that back. That must have been great to have everybody back together. Mm -hmm. Talking about getting back, are we, have we seen the last of Sylvia and Corey? Y yes, we have. Oh, yes, we have. really? Well, I, I'm terrible, you see. I'm a little bit like a fly. I like to flit hither and thither. <laughs> well, let's say a butterfly, that's rather nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. butterflies. And yeah. I like to butterfly. Butterfly. We'll have that. I like, you know, and I don't like being away from theatre too long. I don't like yeah. being away from telly too long. And I loved, I adored my time on Corrie. Great, wonderful actors. Oh, she was a great uh, character mm, as well. She great, was. Well, and a great cruise and great script. So, yeah. She was, yeah, she was oh, fun what a shame. Too. I know. And also, of course, Robert Vaughan is my love interest. It can't yeah. be bad, can it? <laughs> Not really, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I think you have forgotten Do you write that into every contract? <laughs> <laughs> I try to, but most of them don't take any notes. <laughs> well, listen, good luck with this me hat. Yes, it sounds you. fantastic. I can't wait to see it. And a little unknown fact that, you know, she's fluent in Welsh. Yes. We... Oh, I wish I were fluent. You're not bad. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm Drugion. That means she's very bad. See, she's, 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 that's what she's doing. <laughs> Alad is teaching me Welsh, but he's teaching me all the naughty stuff first. Yeah, I thought we'd right. start there. The vital <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the, the things that I can say to people now. <sighs> anyway, shall we have a look at the weather? I think we should. <laughs>